Welcome everyone to back on another episode. We're going to be in episode seven here. So we're going to start combining our flax. And I did notice that I have messed up because I swathed it with only one swather. So and I'm pretty sure. Now I could be wrong. You guys let me know in the comments below. But I did one swather on this course. Can I run two combines? Because I've looked and I can't find anything. I've looked at course play tutorials. I was pretty sure you used to be able to do. I, I just obviously haven't figured it out. So we're just going to run with one combine, I guess, for now. So I'll have to watch a few more videos yet and see if I can find a way to do it. But as of right now, we're just stuck on the one. So that's totally fine. It was time to do a little bit more of some other stuff. Uh, we can do some arrowing along the way. That guy's at about 26%. So yeah, he'll be on the other side here before he's empty. Next time, I'll probably go get another swather so we can swath with two swathers, and that way we can run with our two combines. Or I just need to go watch a few more tutorials and figure it out. So I've looked in the menus and I thought you could load a swather course and then somehow redo it for the combines, but I haven't quite figured it out yet, so. We will just stick with this for now. I'm assuming he'll be probably somewhere over here before he's got a decent load on. And of course, we're going to bail this all up. I haven't got a bailer and stuff yet, but we will do that eventually. And we are going to move this auger because this is wheat. And I don't think we're going to put flax in there. We'll probably go put flax in our dryer, I think. Although, don't actually know if I've set my dryer up. For the new crop, so actually we probably can't put it in there. I'm gonna have to gonna have to edit that because I'm pretty sure that I have not added it to my dryer. I will have to do that, I guess. I'll just go put it in one of BC Bueller's bins for now, because I know he's got that updated on his bins, so. Going to be a little tight in here. Usually I like to dump it in my dryer complex and then transfer it over to these other bins, but that's not going to be the case today. I will probably go in the tall bin. So, we'll throw her in here. Put the lid. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna be editing fire tonight. I was waiting until uh, the new crops had come out, or until Edgewater had come out, and then I was gonna add them just to make sure that I got the fill tightening right and stuff. That might be a little bit better. Not quite. We're hitting that other bin just the slightest. Yeah, see, I didn't put these bins here to... They were supposed to be, like I said, transfer stuff from the dryer, and it works really well. I had a recording of me transferring crops, and then uh, the update came out, so I ended up not adding that into my videos, but... I can show you guys some more of that. What we need is we need a longer auger is what we need. This is going to be super tight to get trucks in here. Don't really like that. We can try it. This 
auger where we need it. Somewhere like that. This might be an issue. See how that goes. I don't think it's going to work very good. <laughs> yeah, we need to get the longer auger in there, that is for sure. That way we can come at a steeper angle and they'll work for our uh, Super B trailers and stuff. Uh, we will wait till he gets on that other pass over there and then then I'll unload them. Technically, I could get this other combine going on the canola, and we could be harvesting both at once, which might not be a bad idea. Anyway, we'll get this guy unloaded. Now, I did switch tractors. If you guys noticed, I did take the quad track off. Because we have it doing some heavy harrowing. So, this tractor is getting the... Getting the grain cart call for now. I would like to upgrade this tractor as well, but... We'll see what our money looks like at the end of the season. He is empty. He will not make it back this far, so I'd like to pick him up. I think he can make it to the, the other end on the headland for sure. Alright. So we got our harrows out here, and I think I have the 70 foot version. I'm pretty sure I don't have the 90 foot. Yeah, we got the 70 foot version. There is nothing wrong with that. Uh, I don't think I have a GPS line set up on this yet, but I'd like to. I forgot this thing is not good on the lines either. And it won't be long until we get our lines back up here. So we'll just redo this ground, I suppose. This is kind of what we do in real life. We go on an angle. Try not to go on too much of an angle so that it's too rough on the tractor. But you want a slight angle for sure when you're heavy heroin. And I usually... It depends on our old heroes. I never did the outside round first because... Generally, with our old set of harrows, once you went over it once, it did not like you going over the same ground again, and then you would get st big straw clumps, and you would uh, pile up dirt and stuff. So the whole point, like now our newer set of harrows, they've changed the angle, and they've changed the size of them, so they, they do like a little swirl, kind of, almost. They go in a circle, and... I think these new ones, these are a one, two, three, four, yeah, these are a seven bar. So old old style Harrows used to be five bar, and now all the companies pretty much have a seven seven bar. Because everybody thinks that's the best. And you get less straw clumps and like there's some ground last fall. I went over it like three times. I harrowed it three times. So the set seven bar allows you to go over it a lot more and do it and do a better job and not make a mess so, so technically you can really go around the outside once do your outside round and then you can go in an angle like this but doesn't, doesn't really matter i think everybody does it different but back with our old set you had to do the outside last because if you did the outside first every time you turned yeah i mean i guess it worked either way but 
can see our combines at 50 there, so we'll maybe just get him unloaded while he's going by here. And I can get this. I guess he made it all the way around. That's interesting. I do have a BC Bueller's um, Bushel Plus mod on, so we should be getting a little bit more of a yield. Plus, it was swath, so. Take what he's got. At least we're kind of straddling our swath here. One more headland to do. Pull our auger up here to get past. I don't think I enabled the manual unload. Oh, <laughs> I forgot I need to empty this trailer. <laughs> Jeez. Man, didn't, didn't I say that in one of my last videos? I needed to empty the seeds and fertilizer in here. Man, I really do not. Really just do not pay attention, do I? <laughs> what I think we're going to do is we're going to buy a bigger auger. Well, I'm not sure. I need to put this in a bin somewhere. Hmm. Don't have a whole lot, which is kind of crummy. You have an open bin here. Kind of hate to tie that up, but I think I'm going to have to. We're going to have to... Well... I think we're gonna buy a bigger auger too. What? I think this is a 70 footer, isn't it? Yeah, 70 footer. We're gonna have to buy a bigger one as well. I think I don't. This is we don't want that small one. Could do a convey all, honestly. I'll have to do our convey all. It's modded though. seeds and fertilizer Kind of on the wrong side to go into this bin, but we'll make her work. I think I can make her fit in here. Sorry, I'm always so unprepared in these videos. Need to be a little more prepared, I guess. I, I know I talked in one of the last videos about getting this trailer emptied, but I forget about it every time, apparently. Totally my bad. So that's kind of in where we want it. Bring this guy out.
Really wish it'd just kind of sit on the ground, but try that. Now I think we'll put seeds in here and I can worry about fertilizer should almost, I wonder if I could fit it in my drill. No, she's a little finicky at times. At <laughs> I'll at least get our seeds emptied. Now, I need to figure out what to do with this fertilizer. That is a good question. I do have a tender over here, too. I wonder if we could fit it in that tender. Might try that just to get it out of this trailer so I can haul grain with it. There's... There's like so little fertilizer in there, I just do not want to tie up a bin. I didn't really want to put seed in one either, but nice to kind of have it for next year. Maybe we will keep the Volvo for a little bit. It, it still has its purposes, but... No, this thing is practically full already. <laughs> well, we will try and stick what we can in there, I guess. And I don't really know what I'm going to do with the rest of it. We do need a little... Don't want to put fertilizer in that auger, so we're going to have to buy... Sorry, my this stuff all comes to the farm at the moment. We're going to need a Batco auger, I think. I want. Transfer the product. Well, we got rid of some of it. What to do with the last 18%? I'd be curious to know if our drill is completely full with fertilizer. I of highly doubt it is, but... Really, the only thing we can do, this tender is full. Don't know anywhere else we could put it, per se. Uh, we don't really have a spreader. I guess we buy a spreader and fill the spreader, but... Uh, yeah, let's just maybe... And I'm just so unorganized. <laughs> Don't really have anything to hook up to the drill at the moment. And we have to go unload our guy because he's going to be full. 
think I'm just gonna fill this guy for now. Oh, I'm all kinds of unorganized. Oh, there we go. Got the manual an overload in here, which is what I wanted. Perfect. I know they redid the mod and cleaned up the code because I know it used to give some Lua errors. And so, so far I think it's good now. They kind of redid some stuff, which is always good when somebody does that and makes it more game friendly. But I do like it because then I can go over a hopper and not actually unload. I hate when the game just automatically unloads. It's just one thing that bothers me so much. And I think um, this mod also didn't work with helpers before, so that's another reason why I didn't use it until now. But I think they made it work with... Obviously, it's working the combines unloading, so... Combine is going to be waiting for us, though. I can see him there. 95%, so... We're slacking. But yeah, he would ne normally never unload them on that side. <laughs> but sometimes you just don't get there in time in the game and you do some stuff that you wouldn't normally do. All right, let's go back to our dilemma. I'm trying to think, I guess I technically could put the fence the smaller fent on the drill and pull it out. This thing can at least move the drill. You would never use this tractor otherwise, but I think we'll just check and see how much is in our drill, because if I can get the rest of the fertilizer dumped... Oh! Okay. Watch out. Oh yeah, we can fit some fertilizer in this puppy. That is for sure. I think we need to go to the last one. Right there. All right, truck, and our shed is empty. We need to get that shed with stuff as well. So we can get this thing empty. That was the main goal. We just pull through the shed. <laughs> Alright, let's get this stuff all emptied out. Perfect. Rock is ready to go now. Oh, we pull the drill back in. I guess we'll put it in a different way there. Might eventually upgrade our drill too. This drill's it wasn't bad, but I really like Bargo drills. I just I just never use them. Sure why I never I always try and start out small and then by the time I need a Borgo drill it's like, oh yeah, no, we moved. Moved to a new save or something. <laughs> uh I can try and put it right up close to the door here, I think. That will work. Uh, the swather will go in there. Once I get stuff washed, I'll start uh, plucking stuff in there. This is going to be my bailing tractor, too. I'll, I don't know if I'll change the tires or not. I might just leave them for now. It'll look a little 
little weird on a baler with big tire, big rubber like this, but. See if I decide to change them out or not. But I honestly think that's going to end this episode, guys. It's a short and sweet episode. Uh, we've got a little bit of flax done. Hopefully next time when I come back, we can get going on finishing the flax. And hopefully we can get a few more fields heavy harrowed. And we'll go from there. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.